Next, we're going to relate our function notation to graphs. We can see that we have two questions right here. Find x if our uh, function f of x equals 7 and evaluate f of negative 6. Okay, remember from our last video that f of x is another name for y, so that's like saying our y value equals 7. So we're supposed to find x if our y value equals 7. Let's come to the graph. Our y value of 7 is corresponding to right there. Let's find where that is on the graph. That's over here on the right side. So that's this point right here at that location. We need to find our x value from that point. So let's go down here to our x-axis, and we see that our x value is 3. So the answer to this question is x equals 3. Next, we're tasked with evaluating f of negative 6. That gives us our x value right here. Our x value is negative 6, and f of negative 6 is the, the name for a y value. So we are supposed to find our y value. Well, if our x value is negative 6, that's here on the x-axis, that corresponds with this point right there, and the y value at that point is 1, we can see. So f of negative 6 equals 1. Okay, let's move on to this question that asks us to graph this function. I've started a table of values here, and we're just going to use our skills of evaluating function notation to be able to build out the rest of this table of values. Then we'll put the points on the graph. All right, so our first x value is negative 1. So f of negative 1, we're going to put that in over here, equals 2 times negative 1 minus 3. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus 3 gives us negative 5. So f of negative 1 equals negative 5. And that gives us our y value, or f of x value, over there. Our next x value is 0, so f of 0 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3 gives us negative 3. f of 0 equals negative 3, and that gives us our value there. Our next one is 1. f of 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 3. 2 times 1 is... 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. So f of 1 equals negative 1. Put that in there. And let's calculate this one. We get f of 2 equals 2 times 2 minus 3. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 gives us 1. So f of 2 equals 1. And we now have enough points that I think we can figure out what the picture of our graph looks like. If we need more, we can add more to the end of this table. So let's go over here and graph those points on our coordinate axis. So we have negative 1, negative 5, that's down here. We have 0, 3, 0, negative 3, sorry. 1, negative 1, and 2, 1. So we can see these are all lining up in a straight line. This is a linear function. We'll draw a line through all of those, and that'll finish up our graph. Thank you.